Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Keep the secret. This might be the most challenging article I'll ever write. The night before my final performances at the London Palladium, I shall submit more on this later on, but for now, allow me to say a huge thank you to all our audiences throughout the UK. We put in a full day at the theatre with the boy who is the incredibly magical Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, Part 1 and 2. It was a spur of the moment decision. On our way to London from York, I thought the ticket tickets for this theatrical event were available and they were. I had initially intended to see this a couple of years ago, but that consulitis prevented me from going, so this was our chance to make up for it. On a bright, sunny day, we convened at the front of the Palace Theatre, my old home when I played at the Nino in 1996, and lined up to have our best checked before entering the theatre. Once you enter, merchandise is made, available for any fan of Harry Potter. We decided to be prudent, and get our best built before the second show. I had a feeling I would be in for a magical afternoon and evening and, boy, was I right. Although I did have a copy of the script at home, I'm very glad I didn't break it open. Every single moment came as a wonderful surprise. There were throwback to moments from the original series of books by J.K. Rowling, which brought us to, here, as well as illusions that dropped our jaws to the floor and kept them there. However, as much as all the technical matches know how was fantastic to see, at the end of the day, it's the humanity of these beloved characters that brought the show to life. To see Harry, Ron and Hermione as grown-ups struggling to raise their children seeing Albus Potter and sport highest now for them travails as they navigate their unique circumstances as teenagers and the classic battle of good versus evil. It's about getting over one's own baggage to be a hero, and how good intentions don't always bring about the best results. It's also about making mistakes as teens and parents, and coming to terms with who one really is, whatever that might mean. By the end, everyone was up on their feet not only for everything they saw, but how it made us all feel. Throughout the show, we laughed, we cried, felt goosebumps all over our bodies and had our hearts broken and put back together. The entire ensemble was excellent, although I must say, the two actors playing Albus and Sport Hyatt, Dominic Short and Jonathan Cate, stole the show. You needn't be the hugest Harry Potter fan to appreciate the play, and even if you've read the book, by J.K. Rowling, Jack Dorn and John, Tiffany, there's no way you'd be absolutely prepared for what you will see. And now that I've seen the show, I can't wait to dive into the book to release that afternoon and evening. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.